Hey everyone, Andy here with Mossy Creek Fly Fishing. Today's August 22nd, and I'm coming to you with your fishing forecast for the week. We ended last week with a good shot of rain. Some areas got really heavy rainfall, uh, other areas not so much. Here in Harrisonburg, we were kind of spared a little bit, but uh, some areas like Charlottesville and further south over towards Lexington really look like they got quite a bit of rainfall. So nice bump for a lot of our trout streams. It's got our smallmouth waters a little bit high and off color. Um, let's jump into it. We'll start by talking about kind of what we can expect with uh, a lot of our trout water this week. Starting up in the mountains like usual, we're going to see a lot of those streams uh, bump up a little bit. We did have some reports from folks who went out just prior to this rain who were starting to see things on the east slope of Shenandoah getting low, clear, finicky fish, you know, catching a few things here and there on some terrestrial patterns and some attractor dry flies, but things were definitely kind of on the fall. That boost of rain has a lot of our gauges kind of jumping back up over there to above average flow. So um, I don't have any hands-on reports since this rainfall yesterday, but if you're wanting to get out, I think it's a pretty safe bet to say at least in the early part of this week, you're going to be able to find some good fishable waters over on, again, your bigger drainages, uh, gauges over on the Rapidan, the Robinson, the Rose, all that stuff has kind of bumped up, like I said, above average. Not real high, but above average and probably fishable for a little while. If you do head up there, uh, check water temps, go in the morning, probably going to be your best time. And then fishing your ant patterns, beetle patterns, flashy attractors, throw a dropper on. Uh, you may find some fish kind of still pushing into those um, sanctuary pools and holding together, which makes them tough again. But if you're really dying to get out and do it, you can certainly try out some of those streams again early this week. Uh, we have had great reports over here on Dry River. Folks going out that way have found good water levels, good hungry fish. We're going to be really fishing those same flies, but um, really same deal on, in the George Washington National Forest. Watch your water levels throughout the week, but uh, again, right now you're going to find good fishable levels. Now down here on the Spring Creeks, again, uh, like we've kind of been saying for a while, they're in good shape. You can go out in the morning and fish trichos. You can fish beetles and hoppers and ants during the day. We're starting to see a lot of those bigger hoppers and everything out now. So we're finally able to fish those really big bugs. And, um, you know, put a nymph down below those things. We've done rel really well on like a jigged iron lotus. Um, you know, some of your more natural patterns, but I prefer jig patterns. They help me to get down and uh, invert the hook so you don't have as much trouble snagging. A tungsten bead on them usually as well, so you don't need to worry about any additional weight or anything like that. But jig iron lotus is one that I've done well on lately, and you've got lots of other options. They're not super picky on specific patterns right now, but uh, things like a soft tackle pheasant tail, you can do that in tons of varieties with like a hot head pattern or a pink bead. Uh, your pink tag jigs are another good one that we like, your mayhem jigs, so a lot of good options out there on that side of things. Wouldn't go super huge on them uh, unless you are heading to a stream where you see that the water's bumped up and you can size up your flies appropriately with that, you know, in heavier flows, throwing on something like a Pat's Rubber Legs. If you are in one of those areas that got a big bunch of rain, you can bring in some of those fish on a larger uh, profiled fly like that. And tailwater fishing, those gauges have stayed the same. The release schedules on a lot of those haven't really changed. So still good weightable levels. You can go out and float them still if you want to. Uh, we had good reports from customers last week who were out and, and fishing those and uh, did well fishing dry droppers and stuff on some of the lower portions of those tailwaters like the Jackson. And uh, as you get up closer towards like the dam, going smaller bugs, uh, a lot more nymphing typically and you can catch some fish on streamers as well. And then for smallmouth stuff, like I mentioned earlier, the rainfall yesterday has those rivers elevated a little bit. The Shenandoah bumped, started to fall, and now is on a secondary bump, but likely will fall uh, relatively quickly, and, and we'll be back out there fishing you know, within a couple of days. Uh, you can watch the gauges. We're not at like an unsafe level right now, but especially for fly fishing, it's a little bit high and uh, gonna be a bit off color, but you know, if you do want to go out before that water gets back down towards its average flow, things like your crayfish patterns, helgramites, uh, really just your heavier stuff that you can get down into uh, the strike zone a little bit faster is going to be better. And then as we get back to a normal water flow and clearer water, we'll go back to a lot of topwater fishing. We had some really nice days last week with topwater, 
um, fishing your bugs and your frogs and all that has been a lot of fun this summer and we'll we'll be back there shortly as the river falls uh, the James River I know got bumped up quite a bit so that may be a little bit longer if anybody's getting out on that really watch your gauge over there they, they definitely got more rain than we did uh, here in the valley so keep your eye on your gauges call us if you've got questions and if anybody's out early this week and has a great report shoot us a message we always love to get pictures from you all so uh, if you get a picture of the creek or if you get nice fish or something let us know and it helps us to inform other folks uh, the rest of the week appreciate it and we will be back with you guys next week hope everybody gets out and fishes and enjoys this last leg of summer